What is up everybody? Once again, it is time for Funko News here pretty much at the end of October. It's October 28th at the time of this recording and uh, I really want to go ahead and get right into it for this edition. Of course, I do have to say quickly though, please make sure that you drop a like on this video. Like I always say, simple way to show support for my channel and to support this series. So please do not forget to do that. Go ahead and take care of it. Make sure you do drop a like on this video and I will say quickly also that um most of the news the major uh, reveals for this week were towards the beginning of the week so I already have covered them in the last edition but I think there are some pretty interesting things that you'll find in this video as well so let me go ahead and get into it for starters here if you happen to be in the Everett Washington area Funko is having a pretty quick event on November 6th uh, it's only going to be from 6 to 7 p.m. that they will have this event at a Toys R Us there. And you see the address there in the bottom left. And it appears that there are, you know, chances to win prizes there. What the prizes may be, I really don't know all the details about it. But for those of you in that area, you might want to check that event out. And then also, Wild Card Toys, a website I've been hearing different people talk about. I haven't ordered from them myself. But I've been hearing different people say some positive things about them. They have a Halloween sale going on right now, which is 33% off on Funko products. And if you happen to also be a fan of Legos, 22% off of Lego products. So, yeah, you might want to check that out. And it does run until the 1st of November. So I will put a link in the description if you are interested in that sale. You want to see what that website has to offer. So a bit of news here from Hot Topic. This is some corporate type news, but it does affect collectors. So it says here, I'm going to read what I have on the right because I did kind of sum this up. At Hot Topic, pops won't be placed on the sales floor until their official release date. And there will no longer be holes. So basically, it's first come, first serve. So with this coming from on high, like I said, this is at the corporate level. I really think that most people would not want to risk their job to put things on hold for people and you know things like that basically they're trying to keep things fair I'm sure a lot of it has to do with the way that some people can be very uncivilized when it comes to trying to get figures for themselves especially to hoard multiples of figures to resell them so yeah they're making some changes there and I don't blame them for that and then also I'm really I'm not sure why figures aren't more register locked at Hot Topic especially their exclusives like Honestly, they shouldn't be able to sell them regardless, and I know some people will switch things out. They'll use a different figure to basically ring something up, but yeah, I mean, hopefully this will just kind of end some of the nonsense, them basically holding on to the figures and making sure they're not on shelves until they're supposed to be on shelves, and then not holding them as well. I know that's going to be inconvenient for some people that they can't hold them, but I think in the long run, this is a positive thing. That's my personal opinion about it. Now also here, this is something that Hot Topic has stated actually weeks or even months ago now at this point, but I know Target has put the word out there as well, and I'm sure other businesses are going to follow suit, that they're basically eliminating returns when people buy multiple of the, multiples of the same figure. So basically, some people will buy like six of a figure, they might buy a case because they're trying to make sure that they get the chase figure, and then they'll just return the rest. Yeah, stores aren't having that anymore. I'm pretty sure they're getting tired of that. So yeah, they're shutting that down. So if you decide to buy a bunch of one figure, you can't really get mad at a company if they say they're not taking the rest back because they're pretty much, they, they've realized what's going on with that and it's just a big inconvenience for them. So um, yeah, just, just something to keep in mind for people that do like to buy a lot of one figure to try to get the chase. So some figures that are available now, as a matter of fact, I know that all of these at the time of this recording, or at least the majority of them, I know that all these waves, but maybe not some of the individual ones, were available on a Hot Topics website, which I always say, you know, just check Hot Topics website on a regular basis because a lot of times, uh, you know, they'll just put new figures out there. You may not even realize that they're available yet. And then also sometimes they have uh, some good deals going on on their website. So the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite figures, um, some of those are on their website, which means that they should be hitting stores as well. The um, the Grinch figures starting to show up. I'm not so sure about the, um, the exclusives. I know there's some exclusives with that way, but uh, yeah, some of the Grinch figures are showing up 
Korg from Thor Ragnarok is available. Um, the elf figures as well. And I think with the elf figures, uh, I want to say at least the narwhal. Yeah, the narwhal I've shared previously is available at Toys R Us. So uh, do check that out if you are interested. And then the Hellboy figure showed up way sooner than um, originally it was stated that they would come out. I'm not mad at that at all. You know, Hellboy is a great character. But it's just a little bit surprising because... Um, I, I felt like they probably would have waited and made this closer to the upcoming movie release. But it's possible that when the movie comes out, they may just do some more figures on top of these figures here. Because I think these figures here are much more comic book influenced. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens there as far as Hellboy is concerned. So I shared these previously and um, I just had to go and make sure I share these again. What's going on with the Stranger Things figures specifically for season two. And by the way, of course, I'm not going to drop any spoilers, but I did finish watching um, se season two and I loved it. I, I thought it was phenomenal. And what made it a lot better than the first uh, season is, of course, the characters are established. What's going on is established. So they were pretty much able to hit the ground running. And I felt like it was momentum from beginning to end. So I really enjoyed this season. Like I said, I'm not going to get into spoilers. But I will say um, just this one little thing that uh, there's definitely potential for more figures than what's already uh, been made, what's already produced. So, and once you see the season, if you haven't finished it already, then you will know about that. And please do be very respectful down in the comments. Not everybody has time to binge watch. So I'm sure there's plenty of people watching this that have not finished the season yet. So again, just be very careful about what you say down in the comments. But of course, here we have the boys in their Ghostbuster outfits, which are appearing now. And then we have these other figures as well. We have Eleven, Joyce, and remember Joyce in the hazmat suit is showing up at Target as well, which that figure is more so based off of the first season. But regardless, I just wanted to make sure I put that out there for you all. And if you've seen the second season, then now you are, you know, you should be familiar with the character Max. So remember there's a common Max, and then there is also the um Hot Topic exclusive, which is actually her in um I mean, I'm not, again, this is not a spoiler because you, mean, you can look right at it and see what's going on there. She's dressed up for Halloween and she's actually dressed up as Michael Myers, but she has the mask pulled up on top of her head there. So um, I think that is a pretty cool figure. Not available online right now. I'm not sure if it's hit some stores or not, but uh, uh, there is a placeholder link which hasn't gone live at this time keep that in mind that's what placeholder means it's not live yet but regardless i'm going to share that placeholder down in the description in case you want to keep checking on it to see when that figure does go live and um yeah that's one i definitely want to get and i think i want to get some of these others now as well i'm just like i said i really enjoyed this season so now i'm, I'm more interested in collecting some of these figures maybe even some of the mystery minis as well and then also do not forget that the 8-bit pop figures, which are all Target exclusives, are available. And as a matter of fact, I checked Target's website right before I started recording. And at the time of this recording, all of these figures were available. So I'm going to drop a link so you can quickly get to the Target's website if you want to order these. Do remember, um, Target, maybe not always the greatest um, shipping you know, as in terms of getting the, the figures to you in the greatest condition. So, you know, basically order online at your own risk. But at the same time, not every store is going to actually have these figures. So that's up to you to, to decide whether or not you want to go around looking or if you want to go ahead and order them online. You know, that's completely up to you. So moving on here again, something else that I covered earlier this week, and only reason I'm bringing these back up, these uh, glow-in-the-dark silhouette Justice League pops, which do remember, these are Entertainment Earth exclusives, and yeah, Entertainment Earth really lets you know when something is exclusive to them. They make sure it's all over the place, but um, I didn't share an image of the Flash previously. I, I'm not sure if I overlooked him or he just wasn't up yet. You know, regardless, I did want to put it out there and let you all know that, yes, Flash is included as well. And do remember that all of these are up for pre-order on Entertainment Earth Earth's website right now, but they are a December release. So a rumor that I put out there and uh, really I, I felt like this was somewhat legit. It just did. My thing, though, is when I see concept art instead of the actual figure, 
that's where I just get a little bit apprehensive, but this seems pretty legit that Hellboy with Excalibur is being produced and he is available to pre-order on various sites, including Entertainment Earth. So I'm going to put the link for um, uh, Entertainment Earth uh, down, you know, to go check out the Hellboy with Sword um, or Excalibur, I guess I should say now to be specific. But I do want to point out that's not the only website doing a pre-order. So you might want to look around. And I know that some people in the comments of other videos have mentioned it. As a matter of fact, the last Funko News video, I think uh, two or three people mentioned of where you could pre-order this figure so it's really up to you how you go about trying to get it um yeah that's really your choice and um i'm really hoping that uh the final figure does look pretty cool because i do like this concept art here so these are figures that i shared a good while back now now do keep in mind here that these are not what you may be thinking about i know that you've seen these figures before if you are a collector but these are the flocked versions of simba with the leaf mane and then rafiki with baby simba so that's the difference here these are the flocked versions yes i know the comments have been out for a while but again these are entertainment earth exclusives which you cannot overlook here but um these are up for a december release and they are available to pre-order right now again i will put a link down in the description so the Star Wars Dwarves, they did uh, go ahead and release, and they are available in Disney stores. But if you don't have a Disney store in your area, you can actually go to the Disney shop online. That's another link I am going to put down in the description. I, I feel like when I went and looked, I just kind of looked and skimmed real quick. I feel like the majority of these, at least I saw, I'm not sure if some have already sold out or not. But uh, one thing you do want to keep in mind is that there is a chase figure involved here, and that is a flocked Chewbacca. So again, if you're interested in these, you can check actually in a Disney store, or you can go to the Disney shop online, which I will share that link for you all down in the description. And then I've shared these uh, more than once before, um, the Star Wars movie moments, but the only reason I'm bringing these back up is because now it seems according to a sales paper that these will actually release on november 18th do keep in mind that these are walmart exclusives okay they are walmart exclusives so do watch for them online as well i want to say that I, I did share the um, placeholder links previously yeah, as a matter of fact i'm sure i did so you can check that out on the previous funko news video and uh, once they actually do go live online i will try to re remind you all and i may share the links again but you know, like I always say, when it comes to collecting, I can't do it for you. So if you're really interested in these, be vigilant, be on the lookout for them. So some other figures that I've shared several times now at this point, I just want to give this reminder because we are right on the cusp of being able to order these figures or to go into stores and look for these figures. So again, remember these are... Um, these were with the LA Comic Con or Kamikaze, and they're shared with Hot Topic. So these figures here, including Moon Knight, Snowball, Kevin Smith, and Ahsoka, and um, you know, Star Wars fans, if I mispronounce her name, please don't make a big deal about it. I do have to stress to you all, I cannot be a fan of everything that I cover. It's impossible. Funko covers pretty much some of everything in entertainment, so I cannot know all of it some people act like they take it personal when i mispronounce a name or whatever it may be and it's like i'll just say this if you were in my position trust me you would mispronounce some names too so don't make a big deal about that but uh yeah these figures uh are actually going to be available online 9 p.m and that specific standard time october 29th so from the time of this recording that would be tomorrow night so uh also you can look for these in store starting on october 30th some people were still saying the 27th I'm, I'm really not sure why i know i've shared at least twice previously that the date was changed to the 30th and that was like the official word from hot topic that i heard so um i mean because if they were if it was the 27th still then they would be out there but um they're not like oh, except for people that actually got these from the actual convention and speaking of the actual convention I do want to uh, briefly talk about the other Moon Knight because remember, it's not just that the Moon Knight uh, from the Kamikaze actually glows. That I mean, that's part of the difference, but also it is actually a different mold. At least the body mold is different. Um, he's actually like rolling up his sleeves. Looks like he's ready to do some work there. So um, yeah, the mold is different. It does glow in the dark. And it turns out that most of them, I guess, they glow green, which is pretty typical for a lot of glow in the dark Funko Pops. But for some reason, some of them glow blue. And uh, some people are, like, are trying to hype that up, basically, so that they can hike up the price on eBay, which 
does not make a lot of sense to me but uh, i'm just letting you all know if you go looking on ebay you might see a, a wide range of prices and that is because some, some people are just trying to get more because they say of this rare glow the blue glow which to me I, I like i said i've seen this figure listed um with the green glow listed around like 35 dollars or so so i don't think adding on almost a hundred dollars because it happens to be a blue glow makes much sense at all and um i do want to say this real quick as well and then i will move on my big problem with uh, flippers and some collectors in general is that, yes, I know you want to get something that's high value, but to sell something at such a high cost from the jump just does not make sense to me. You, normally, you want to get something high value because you think it's going to go up in value in time. But some people are setting the prices so high that that doesn't really happen. A lot of times, actually, the opposite happens. You know, somebody tries to sell a new rare pop figure for over a hundred dollars and a couple of months down the line you know it's come down some it's worth like maybe 80 you know it still has good value but it's come down some so i would just say you know for any collector just be smart about your money and always ask yourself is it really worth it because the more i see things like this the more my answer is no absolutely not that's just me personally okay but let me hop off my soapbox and i'll move on here so I did share one of these figures earlier this week. The, other, the others hadn't been revealed at the time, but here they are now. Okay, so we have a classic Bugs Bunny here, and then we have the Bugs Bunny opera version. We have Elmer Fudd, the opera version there, which I, I really do like Elmer Fudd. I think it's the smile. like that. That's just a great uh, version of Elmer Fudd there. We got Daffy Duck, which um, I'll, I'll be honest, maybe it's because Daffy Duck has the white of his eyes and the same thing with Sylvester. And by the way, Sylvester and Tweety together, I think that's pretty cool that they did that. But um, yeah, seeing the whites of their eyes, it just makes me want to take a paintbrush and just gently put the black dots in there. You know, and uh, I could imagine some people that uh, actually taking the time to do that because, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of used to the uh, black pop eyes, but it's something about the white eyes sometimes when I see them. Depending on the character, if it's Batman, not a big deal because that's true to the comics and the animation. But for some characters, it's just like I want to, I just want to dot those eyes basically. <laughs> and then they have the Tornado Taz, which I think looks pretty awesome. I really do like that version of Taz. And um, these figures are up for a January release. And then along with them, they are going to have some Looney Tunes uh, plush figures. You see the characters they have there. They got Taz, Daffy Duck, Tweety, and then um, Bugs Bunny. I would imagine Tweety is probably going to be really popular as a plush figure because, I mean, honestly, the character is already, you know, there's a lot of plush figures of Tweety out there. So, yeah, I can imagine that being pretty popular. And then there will be a flocked Bugs Bunny, which is a Target exclusive, again, also up for a January release. And the plushies as well are up for a January release. So Saga is, I've said this before, this is a comic series I really want to find the time to read. I feel like I'm always so pressed for time, but I really want to jump on this. And I'm, I'm actually considering going ahead and getting volume one of the Saga comics and seeing how I like it and then catching up from there. Honestly, I don't even know like the concept of it, and I don't want to know, by the way. If you're familiar with Saga, please don't tell me anything about it. I really want to go into the series completely cold knowing nothing about it and just seeing what it's all about and then if i'm into it you know then i'll become a re reader of it and i'll catch up from there but um you see the figures that they have here on the way they have lion cat um alana or alana I'm, I'm thinking this alana with gun again if i mispronounce the name not a big deal um marco with sword which i really do like marco's design i think that's a pretty cool looking character um prince robot the fourth interesting character i'm looking forward to learning about him and the will as well and i'm assuming that with the chase variant that's a strong reference to something in the comics so you know i'm interested to find out what that's all about as well um funk was just saying winter release for these very vague at this point so that, yeah that's all i know at this time just a winter release of course as they do release then i will update you all and there are exclusives involved as well. They have Isabel, the ghostly babysitter, which I know nothing about the character. And I already, I, I really do like the look of that pop figure. That is a Hot Topic exclusive. And um, they have Lion Cat, which we've heard about this before. The bloody Lion Cat, which is a Diamond Comics exclusive, which 
to me that still makes it seem like this is possible for free comic book day you know time will tell there but this will be one to look for in comic book shops and then they also have lion cat the pink version which is a barnes and noble exclusive so again all of these are up for a winter release and as i learn more details of course i will share and i'm sure at some point funko is going to put out more official images where you actually get to see you know the figures in the boxes so that is going to do it for Funko News, I don't know. I know some of you might be a little bit thrown off, but yeah, that's it. There's no rumor mill this time, no spoilers, none of that. You know, um, I didn't want to pad out this uh, episode more than necessary. Like I said, this week was very much front loaded with news, and not so much towards the end. But like I said, you know, I still hope that you got something out of this video, and you know, even if not for yourself, maybe for some of your fellow collectors, because. To me, that's always a big part of collecting is not just to focus on yourself, but to look out for others as well. You know, have that community thing going on. So again, even if you didn't see something that you're interested in, maybe you know somebody that is and you can do a trade or help each other out, whatever it may be, you know, community. Just keep that word in mind. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please make sure that you subscribe. And something I haven't done before, but I do need to do is really give a shout out to my notification squad, people that have signed up to get the notifications and they jump right on the videos as soon as they come up. Uh, trust me, I really do appreciate that. That is very cool to me. Um, I'm saying first, eh, <laughs> I mean, that doesn't mean so much to me, but just the fact that people are taking the time, you know, as soon as the video comes up, they go ahead and check them out. Trust me, that really is appreciated. So thank you all so much for that. And again, thank you all for, you know, getting me to the point where I am above 7,000 subscribers and still growing pretty fast. I really do appreciate all the support. But yeah, that's going to do it for this edition of Funko News. You all take care and I'll talk to you all again real soon.